my dear friends dr rajiv dhone here your ent faculty here let us do a very important question which is asked in many exam nowadays can you identify the device in the picture yes this is tracheoesophageal puncture device for what this is used for this is used for vocal rehabilitation after total laryngectomy has been done is it external device or internal device this is internal device this is surgically placed between trachea and esophagus what type of device it is this is unidirectional valve which is going to send the air from trachea to esophagus and that air goes upward and helps the patient to produce the sound is there any chance of aspiration answer is very minimal why it's a unidirectional valve what are the various examples of tep device number 1 blom singer prosthesis number 2 is the provox device number 3 is the panje device okay and the last thing look at this image now this image shows what the permanent tracheostomy has been done after total laryngectomy my dear friends when you do the laryngectomy the tracheal edges have to be sutured to the skin of the neck to make a permanent tracheostomy how to differentiate between a permanent tracheostomy and a standard tracheostomy in a standard tracheostomy image like this you will always see the tracheostomy tube in situ but in permanent tracheostomy like this because the edges of the trachea are sutured to the skin of the neck you need not put the tracheostomy tube that's how we differentiate and then please look through this permanent tracheostomy can you see a plastic ring like thing on the posterior wall of trachea when you see like this the name of this device is tracheoesophageal puncture device because right behind trachea is esophagus the one end of this device is in the esophagus and the other end which you are seeing from here is the tracheal end of this so guys this is tep device and a very important question in the various examinations keep learning